algorithm. Sequence example. The control structure of sequence is used to represent the order of steps in which an algorithm is to be executed. In pseudocode, the steps are placed between the keywords of begin and end, which are accompanied by the name of the program or subprogram. Sequence reflects the logical order that steps need to take in order for a system to run correctly. So what it's all about here with sequence is that when we create our algorithm, our steps are in an order that makes sense. And that's essentially what we're trying to make sure of. Because if the steps, although it might be correct, if they're not in order, the, the actual program is not going to run correctly. All right, there's going to lead to logical errors. And the system, when we actual program, the actual program we're making, it's not going to work. So we do this through ensuring that the control structure of sequence is satisfied when creating our algorithm. Now, in relation to keywords, as said, there's two specific keywords. There's begin, which is placed at the beginning of every algorithm, and it commences the algorithm, and end, which is placed at the end of every algorithm and concludes every algorithm. They're used in every algorithm. And as said in the statement just above, both of those keywords are accompanied by the name of the program. All right, and we write that next to it so we know through our documentation with all our algorithms, okay, which program we're referring to with the specific algorithms we're writing out. So we're going to look at an example now, that of a personalized hello message. It's going to be a program that asks the user to enter their name into a system, and once the user enters their name, the program will then display a greeting incorporating the given name that they put into it. Now I've said specifically given name, because it might be their actual name, it's whatever name they enter into the system, and we've got to be open and aware of that. Okay, but going with sequence, the first thing we write out is that of begin. So the keyword to begin is used and the name of my program and I've named my program hello message and this begins the algorithm for hello message and I've obviously emphasized the begin statement there through capitalizing it. The next part is display please enter your name so that will appear on screen okay and hopefully prompt the user to enter their name into some element that I have there to for them to write in their name. The next part is get the actual username. It gets the name from the user and records it as the variable username. And that's why I've written username in yellow. It is the variable I'm using to store whatever the, uh, text they write in as their username. The next part is display. And then it's gonna say, welcome to my program. And I've got that within quotation marks. Then I've got a plus and I've written my variables name, their username. So it's gonna say, welcome to my program plus whatever they've written in as their username, and then plus an exclamation mark, which is just for punctuation, which I'm putting on the end. Okay, and it should display as, welcome to my program username with an exclamation mark. Okay, in my case, it would say, welcome to my program Chris with an exclamation mark on the end there. But basically, it's then now satisfied what I want it to do. It's gonna write that uh, personalized welcome message to the user. Then finally, we're gonna end our program. Okay, so we end hello message and it ends the algorithm for hello message. Okay, so in relation to sequence, we're really making sure that my steps are correct. So I've started off with my begin. I first need to prompt the user. So I've got my message displayed on screen, please enter your name. I then need to obtain the username from them. And then after obtaining that username, I can then display my message back to them with their username within it. So. That makes logical sense in my head. I couldn't display my message before I obtained their actual username. That would not work and obviously wouldn't make logical sense there. So that's what sequence is all about. Making sure our steps are in a logical order and make sense okay, for people who actually are going to use the program and make sense of the program itself okay, that it knows what order to complete steps in order to run correctly. So I'll get rid of all my comments there. And that's essentially what our algorithm looks like for this specific program. So I hope this video has given understanding of sequence in that our steps need to be ordered between the keywords of begin and end, okay, in a logical way that actually makes sense in order to solve our actual algorithm and complete a program correctly.